Um, I don't know if I'm going to add this video to my main vlog or if I'm not, but I wanted to give you guys a tour of our private island here in Granada, Nicaragua. Um, we have been staying here for two days, so it does look two days born. So just give you a little heads up. I'm trying to make it as fast as I possibly can. So first things first, this is the main balcony. This is the main balcony for the main bedroom. This is the closet, and this is the bed that has clearly been slept in. Okay, so this is the primary suite. I love, 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 love the ceiling. Um, my husband's in the bathroom blowing it up too much rice and beans so this is a primary suite and it comes with two beds this is the second bedroom that if we would have brought my stepson he would have slept in however we couldn't bring him on this trip and so i'm just using it as my makeup room and you know to hang up all my little outfits so now we're gonna come out to the second main um balcony area i love this authentic authentic tree wood section right here and so this villa actually comes with four bedrooms and so the other side is right here and so there's no point in me showing it to you it's literally the same exact thing but um yeah i'm gonna go downstairs and show you guys like the views and everything of the island i think the island is only um 12 000 square feet so i could literally walk it by myself all right so let me go downstairs okay so let's walk downstairs i love this staircase but if you have kids it's very dangerous so make sure to hold on to the railing so we come down and so everything is outdoors so this is the fourth bathroom right here this is a supply closet and this is the bathroom i love this stone this is just so modern to me and just so 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 fabulous um this is our refrigerator that's obviously beat up however with this villa it comes with a private chef that cooks breakfast lunch and dinner and so once i show you where the bolts are they come and they bring in fresh fruit and fresh food every single day this is the other bath area and they bring in fresh fruit and food every single day and cook us pretty much anything we want. This is the other refrigerator that's just filled with the stuff that they cook with. And so let's go. So this is where if you wanted to kayak or boat, you would have to come down here, which is scary as hell for me but yeah you come put the kayak and everything and you can go kayaking on the lake and so i'm not doing that y'all know i ain't that type of girl and so we're gonna go back on this side this is like the little garden area and we have a huge huge dining room area that is just so fabulous again love the ceilings um one thing about this house there is no ac only fans pause <laughs> but it's so like windy like the whole house is cool and because the whole house is like made of stone and clay it's super super cool so it's actually really really nice because me and my husband are always fighting over the ac so here we have another dock where you come sit down watch the views underneath like the palm trees and see all the other islands some of the little smaller islands only house like the, the service people only serve the service people that's where they sleep and then they come in the morning to come cook and stuff like that so this is the island garden type of views there's a lot of different there's sea moss there's grass there's just a lot of different plants aloe vera I, I've just started looking into plants so this is why I know some of the names of the different type of stuff so it's all mixed in okay this is our private um pool it is huge it goes I think up to six feet and so this is actually filtered water from the lake and so 
so I'm not getting in that because ew. But for the most part, it's all natural spring water. And so this is um, the lake. Ooh, girl, something caught on to my dress. Yeah, yeah. Caught on to, ooh, ooh, ripping up my dress now. Yeah, I was getting vicious. And so, yeah, this is the view from the other side. There are other houses and other villas inside of that area, like all around. I know you probably can't see it, but it's so far. But up there is a volcano that sometimes lets off a lot of steam that looks very, very beautiful. Um, that is one of the rowboats that we got to take to get to the mainland, which is right there. But um, the guy who's going to bring us on the boat, he's going to come back with an electric boat to take us on and off because imagine us with a rowboat, please. So this is where you can lay out. And this is where people can just hang out and chill at night. It looks so fabulous, but it is pitch black dark out here. So it's super kind of scary. And then we're gonna come to the other side of the island. Island that I literally just found out was here um, yesterday because I didn't come to the side for any reason. But yeah, so you just come down. And this is another place everybody can come chill and just hang out and enjoy the other view. So we are surrounded by water. Um, in the mornings, there are a lot of people that like to go kayaking and go fishing and go surfing. However, I'm not that type of girl, so I didn't join and I did not partake. Um, you got a clear vision of the rural boat. But yeah, if I knew it was gonna be like this big, if I knew that we were coming here specifically first, I probably would have invited you guys know Kamara or some of my other friends, but I, I didn't know it was gonna be this amazing and I didn't know we were gonna have all this room and be on this place by ourselves for the entire time. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole tour of the little mini island. And so, what I would recommend though, um, because I'm pregnant, I don't care. I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, so all I do is sleep and eat. So having a private chef ready to make whatever at any given time is, this is my, this is my uh, idea of luxury. However, um, I would recommend that if you are coming with like a big group of younger people who like to turn up and have fun, I would recommend that you go to the grocery store before you get out here because the boat ride to the mainland is about 10 minutes and it can be really, really tedious to have to schedule the boat ride all the time. And so I would recommend that you go to the grocery store, you buy a lot of items that you want, whether it's alcohol, whether it's soda, chips, snacks. And then also, I don't know if you guys noticed, there are no TVs. There's internet here, but there's no TV. So that's another reason I like it because I, you guys know I don't watch TV. But if somebody like my man child who's been complaining about he can't watch the game, he can't do this, he can't do that, um, I would recommend either bringing like an iPad or a tablet. However, Hulu, Netflix, and Tubi do not work in Nicaragua. So bring some DVDs. I don't know what to tell you, champ. But yeah, that's so cute. And then they have like fresh little plantains and things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the person who booked this island for me is none other than my homegirl, Michelle from Deluxe Detour. I will have her information in the bio below. And um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And yeah. I have like three more trips before I cannot um, travel anymore and so I haven't done a travel video in a while and I have been traveling but I just haven't been staying in places that are like worth a YouTube video this clearly was and so my last three trips and then you guys know I'm just gonna be strictly doing mommy content oh so alright so I'll be back with another video very very soon Bye, me